Hi everyone, Stephanie Davis here and I have some art supply hauls to share with you guys today. So I'm going to move everything out of the way and we'll get started. So my first haul is, now these are, all these hauls are from February and March, maybe a few are from January. It's been quite a while because I had my birthday in February and I've been moving all of my things down to the main floor again and getting ready to do a studio tour for everyone. So that's been what I've been spending most of my time on. But these, this was back from March. And this is another travels journal. And let's see, this is from Chic Sparrow. And Traveler's Notebooks, and they're really pretty. They're leather. And so I had to grab it before it was gone. But I love, they put it in the bags just like they do for my some of my purses. Really nice way to store it. And this is the this is the Mr. Darcy. And I believe this is, I believe I ordered this in the B6 Slim. But like I said, this is from I ordered this early March and they were having a sale, so everything took a little longer than normal. But it has the nice two pockets. It has the band so that you can put your traveler's journals in here. And the nice little um, band, elastic band to close it. And it has a pen loop. And what I love about these pen loops, they do fit all of my Lannies, what is that I usually use with these. So love that. But I'm hoping this one won't, I won't be, I won't think it's as precious, so I won't be as afraid to use it. The only other one I have, the other one I have is this. The Mr. Darcy. This is the B6 regular if you wanted to compare sizes. So this is the B6 which I do like the size better. This is the slim. I'm hoping it's a little easier to find traveler's notebooks that are good quality and I'm hoping it's easier to find the sizes for this so that's why I got that one and but this is the butter rum. I, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's probably still my favorite, but I just have, I am having a hard time finding traveler's notebooks without ordering them from overseas. And I have ordered some, but I really don't want to have to order them overseas every time. And I don't want to make them myself either. <laughs> so the next haul is from Jackson's. And first, I had to get a few more of their free and very, you know, under a dollar samples of some watercolor paper. So I'm not going to open this to save time, but be sure and check that out if you place an order at Jackson's because I think this is 55 cents and I think these are about 50 cents too for some samples of watercolor paper. And they're both 100% cotton, so that's really nice. And then I also went ahead and tried these Ecoline brush pens and I've loved, I've loved, I've discovered fountain pens in January, I believe, the beginning of January and uh, kind of discovered the inks first. And then I found a YouTube channel that made me love fountain pens. And so I've kind of got in with those. So these are from Ecoline and these are brush pens. And I think they're more like markers. They are dye based, so they're not gonna be light fast, but they can, they're gonna be really fun to use in my traveler's notebooks or my art journals that I'm just starting. So I have turquoise green and red violet. So I thought I would try those. And then next, I went ahead and caved and got the Schmincke Limited Edition Gold Watercolors. They have these little sets and they had them on sale for Christmas and they just got them back in the stock. So I want to say these are pretty affordable. They have these rose gold, red gold, yellow gold, antique gold, light gold, and white gold. One of the reasons I'm sharing this today is I did want to share with you guys that a lot of these Schmincke tins now are coming with the raw edges, which I'm hugely not a fan of, but I do love their cases. And this one is even bright white, which that was one of my other complaints lately about Schmincke. And I love Schmincke paint. But if you're having trouble with the raw edges like I was, this is what I did to my uh, big 36 pan palette, as well as this one I got at Christmas um, with a ceramic palette that's it's magnetic, but it comes out. So I don't ever use it in the case because it's too heavy. But if you just take some simple electric tape, it works really well. I've had mine for, I've done that for over a year. It takes all the sharp edges away. Just wanted to share that in case that'll 
help some of you, but that's what I'll do to this. And I wanted the gold paints, but I also wanted this little, I kind of ordered this just because I think this would be a perfect travel palette. I had originally ordered this thinking it would be my travel palette. So I think this is gonna be just perfect. And then I can pop in some of my favorite paints and I think it's gonna be perfect to take with me and be a small size and everything, be really convenient. And lastly, I did get these two sets for uh, from Billy Shoal. So this first set is the basic color set. And I did recognize, I'm pretty sure I recognize the colors uh, from her books that she uses. And that she had a few that weren't sommelier, but it's gonna, I'm gonna open this up. So it comes in this lovely box, which, it comes with Lemon Yellow, Sennelier Yellow Deep, Sennelier Red, Rose Matter Lake, French Ultramarine Blue, Thalo Cyanine Blue, what everyone else just calls Thalo Blue. So that is a lovely mix of primaries. And then this one is where you get the pretty colors. But they did include white, which that's a little baffling to me, but I loved especially these two, these, well, I really loved all the colors. So it does come with titanium white, and I this is quinacridone red. This is a gorgeous color, permanent magenta. This is blue violet, and this is indigo. Part of the reason I got these is because the prices did go up quite a bit. Jackson's on just the Sonelia paints. I don't know if it's something with Brexit or I don't know, but. Um, the Schwinkas didn't seem to go up, but I did notice that a lot of the Sennel like the Sennelier set that my husband got me for Christmas, that I was so glad he got that for me when it was on sale at Christmas instead of the price now. And the last thing that I got at Jackson's is this Hanamule book. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it says Academy and I didn't realize that was, I guess they're all considered Academy, but uh, this is a little sketchbook and I would love to know you guys' favorite sketchbook because I'm still trying to find one that I could really love. This looks like it's pretty good. And my next haul is from Amazon. So I did go ahead and get two new sketchbooks from Stillman and Burns, five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. And then one is the more horizontal shaped so, but I really like to have both. And then I also did get some um, glass pens and I actually ordered two because I thought it was hard to see in the pictures what they look like. And this one, I really don't like um, turn it because it's, um, it's been too long and it wasn't very much. So I got that one and then, but this is, these were both, I think these were both about $6, so really not bad. But this one, I find, it, for my taste, it's much prettier. It's got like a little flower in there, but it's just kind of simple and classic. And it comes with this really pretty little heart, and that's for you to rest it on, which is really important <laughs> because I've made quite a mess with inks. They can be really messy. And often they don't wash off and take you, until you take a shower. So this will be really handy, especially because when I get new inks, I wanna try them. And I'm getting ready to make a video because it's been requested that I share all about my fountain pen inks and stuff. So, so far I've gotten uh, the little collection. It's just been since January. I kind of went, got obsessed with them. Um, but I really just wanted, when I was starting to look, I really just wanted a replacement for these two because I had got these two, gosh, um, a long, long time ago. And I never got them to work, so I didn't know if I liked fountain pens or if I just didn't like these fountain pens. And I've tried using this too. And this worked pretty well, but it's just not very convenient because you have to dip it so much. So when I get new inks, I wanna try them, but I don't want to go through flushing and cleaning my pen every time just to test the ink. So I think this will be perfect. And then, so for my last item, I did get this, I think it's pronounced Diamondine, the School and Roses Fountain Pen Ink. Now this is made in the UK, but for some reason, I everyone, I'm part of a Facebook group that I joined 
in January and it is from Goulet Pens because that's where I've gotten all my information and that's where I recommend if you want to know about fountain pens you will get turned to the dark side but um, you can he gives such wonderful information he's taught me everything I know about fountain pens so but everybody on the Facebook group loves this rose skull and roses ink it's kind of a blue with gold and red um, sheening I believe so I did get the large because I really it's I had to go through the Germany Amazon to be able to find this because you can't I can't find it anywhere so I finally got a hold of it and so I ordered the large bottle because since I was getting it from overseas but let's go ahead and try this one out So with this dip pen, you literally just dip it in and the ink falls and then you should be able to get a good, it's just a little bit scratchy, but I don't know which glass pens are considered the good ones, but this is going to work for what I want to do, which is just be able to write and test inks and then um, basically swatch them out. So next time I think I'm going to try to just let the ink go there and maybe if I hold it a little lower I will be able to write better. <laughs> but in the meantime I think this is going to be really nice because I think it's going to be really easy to clean. Which cleaning my pens is uh, it's not my favorite thing to do okay so I can already see some of the sheen coming out on that and I really want to show you guys a little better I will show you I have some ink in here that is by pilot called Yama Budu. it is really pretty and this is I believe the ink is Yama Budu. So see when you can write more smooth, you can write more like your normal handwriting. So now, I don't know if it's gonna come out. It'll have to dry before it really shows its magic. But it's a lovely color and I think, I've seen pictures of it dry and it turns more kind of red and gold. It's just gorgeous. But I do really love the, all of the inks that have a little bit of sheen or gold or something to them. So I think this glass pen is gonna work really well for testing out inks. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these all out for you. I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.